Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com and in this video we're going to be looking at the new line style override feature in layout 2020.2. All right, so this feature allows you to override the default edge style of a tag in layout. So for instance, you can change the dashes. Uh, you can also change the color. So, so we can select an override for the dash. We can click this color swatch here and select a new color and so all edges that are assigned to this tag will be updated. And you can also change the line scale. So we can change this to two points or we can manually override that if we want. And you can see it updates and gives us a lot of control over how edges are displayed in a viewport in layout. So let's go ahead and check out another example. Uh, you can see in this viewport, the trim around the windows and doors all the detail is just kind of lost because the edge thickness is so thick. So what we can do is just find the tag in the tag list, click on the dash and set this to a solid dash pattern. And then we can just override the line scale by clicking uh, 0.10 for instance. And when we click OK, that looks a lot better. So the lines have been lightened up a little bit and so we can see the detail in the trim. Let's look at another example. So let's say we want these uh, property lines and setback lines to be a different color. So right now um, we're looking at the SketchUp model as it was set up in SketchUp. So what I mean by that is these dash styles, if I go to SketchUp, um, we're actually set up right here under the tags panel um, in SketchUp. So basically in layout, these dash styles are just showing what we had already set up in SketchUp. But one thing I wanna show you is you can also um, override multiple tags at the same time. So if you hold down Control or Shift while selecting multiple tags, then you can just single click on one of them and that will allow you to edit them both at the same time. So let's go ahead and click on the color swatch and we can click, we'll just um, choose this red color here, click OK and notice that not only did the color change but the dash uh, changed as well. So they both have the same dash. So that was just something I wanted to show you that when you are editing multiple tags at once, it's going to take all of those properties and apply them to the tags. Um, so in this case, that's not really what I wanted. I want the setback lines to have a different dash style than the property line. So this feature allows you to set the color of the edges in your viewport based on tag. Now, if you're not aware, we've actually always had an ability to assign color to edges directly from inside SketchUp. So let me show you how to do that. So inside SketchUp, if you go to the Styles panel, go to Edit, go to the Edges, uh, Edge Settings, down at the bottom here, you can, by default, the color will be set to All Same, and by default, it's black. So you can actually change the color of all the edges in your model by changing this color. So all of the edges uh, will change, when you do that. But you also have the ability to have different colors on different edges. And what you need to do is change this dropdown to say by material. So at first you're not really gonna see any difference um, because it's going to basically show the default color which is whatever you have set here. So let me set this back to black. And then if we go to by material, now what I can do is use the paint bucket tool or press B on the keyboard, I can grab a color here and apply it to edges in the model. Now, in this case, um, all of those edges were uh, colored at the same time because I actually have them in a group. But if you want, you can, so I have these, I have these ones in a group as well, but I can double click to open that where you know I can select the individual edges 
and I can apply colors directly to, um, to edges if I want as well. Or alternatively, uh, if you create a selection of edges, you can come up to the Entity Info panel and click this little swatch here and uh, pick a different color that way. Now you might be wondering what happens when you apply a texture to an edge because a texture is an image, so how does that work? Well, what it does is it actually is pretty cool. It takes the average color of whatever's in the image and uses that. So in this case, you can see it's you know mostly gray, so it's gonna use a gray color for that edge. Now, it's also worth noting that you can uh, enable color by tag, which you can't see here. Let me show you the other place it's located. In the, in the styles panel under edit, go to this last option here, and you can toggle it right here. So it's actually a style setting, but what this does is it takes whatever color you have assigned here, and it applies it to the entities um, that are assigned to these tags. So if I change this color to something different, you will see that uh, setback, those setback edges are updated as well. And it's worth noting that these colors here um, actually have nothing to do with the colors in the tags panel in layout. So these colors do not correspond with the colors in uh, SketchUp, which, you know, as I think about it, I think that's the right thing to do. I think maybe it's just, um, maybe they should be labeled differently to in order to clearly distinguish between the two. But uh, I just thought it would be worth noting that so you're aware. Also keep in mind, if you do have a viewport that has a style um, where color by material or color by tag is active, changing or trying to override the color here isn't gonna work. So color by material and color by tag are always going to take precedence over this, um, but the simple solution, if you do wanna override it here, is to just find a different style that has those options turned off. All right, let's take a look at another example. So notice what happens. This time I want you to pay attention to what happens to the tags panel when I override this uh, tag line scale. So I'll set the line scale down low and when it's applied, the tags panel becomes gray. Now what does that mean? This is important. Whenever a panel is gray in the SketchUp model panel, that means you're overriding those properties from whatever you have configured in the scenes panel. And because this new feature was integrated in the same panel as the tag visibility, what this means is if you want to override a tag line style, you're forced to also override all of the tag visibility settings that you've set up in your scene. So you're no longer gonna be able to uh, have the viewport update with the scene tag visibility settings. So first of all, if you are using scenes to save tag visibility settings, you need to make sure that you assign the scene to the viewport first before overriding the uh, line styles. But it's not as simple as that. Let's say you have a viewport of the first floor and you've overridden several of the line scale settings. If you copy this viewport and then try to assign it to the second floor scene, none of the tag uh, visibility settings are gonna update. So look, we're still looking at the first floor because the second floor tag was never turned back on because the tags are overridden. So that basically leaves you with two options. You can either forget about using scenes to save tag visibility or you have to reset the tags panel in layout. That way the scene will retrieve the correct uh, tag visibility settings, and then you have to go and manually redo all of the line style overrides that you just did on the previous viewport. Now there is the uh, style sampler tool where you can sample settings from one viewport and apply them to the other, 
but that's not a good solution either because it's still pretty much doing the same exact thing. It's still, it's copying um, the tag settings and applying them to that new viewport. So that literally does nothing for you as well. So the problem is we're kind of like in this really weird transition. Like in the past, you kind of had to use scenes in order to have good control over how your model was gonna look in layout. But in more recent years, we're seeing more and more features being added to layout. For example, we now have the ability to toggle tag visibility right inside layout. We never used to be able to do that. And then now, of course, we have the ability to override dashes and change the, the edge thickness and color and all of those things. But up until now, pretty much all of the properties that could be overridden in layout could also be controlled in SketchUp. And honestly, in most cases, you would actually have a lot more control over them in SketchUp. So for example, you can toggle shadows on and off in layout, but you can't adjust the lightness and darkness sliders. You have to do that in SketchUp. And another thing, scenes in SketchUp can save the visibility state of individual objects. Well, in layout, we have no ability to select the objects that are in a viewport. Um, so you can't do that. You know, there's only one example I can think of where you actually have more control in layout and that's with the standard uh, relative view. So if you want a relative top view or a relative bottom view, you have that option in layout, but you don't have that option in SketchUp. Although there is an extension you can get if you wanna have that capability. But pretty much everything else, you have much more control in SketchUp if you use scenes. And another benefit to using scenes is it's a lot easier to synchronize properties across several scenes. So for example, if we wanted all three of these scenes to have the same camera view, we could just select one of them, configure the view we want, and then you select uh, the rest of the ones you want to update to the same camera location, then you toggle this off and on, and now all three of these are updated to the same camera location. You just simply can't do that in layout. So now we have this new line style override in layout, but there's no way to set the line thickness in SketchUp. So we can do line thickness in layout, but not in SketchUp. So this is really the first time we're ever seeing this. But the biggest problem I see is that if you want to override uh, the, the line style thickness in a viewport, you're forced to also override the tag visibility. I don't see why those two need to be tied together. I would have much rather have seen an additional uh, dropdown um, that has the dash override separately. So if you wanna override tag visibility, you can do that. If you wanna override dash style, you can do that and the two wouldn't be tied together. I just, I feel like this was implemented in a way that forces us to compromise for no real good reason. So I think eventually, you know, maybe we'll be at a place where we don't need to use scenes and we can do everything um, directly from inside layout. I don't know if that's gonna be the case, that's just speculation. But in the meantime, we're kind of stuck in this in-between and it really complicates the workflow. I, you know, I can't, I mean, I definitely recommend, I still recommend using scenes to configure viewports and layout because you just have so much more control. But now, if you wanna use these, these new features, um, it just makes that workflow really hard. Um, so, I don't know, that's my opinion on it. I'm really curious what you think. I mean, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Um, am I making this into a bigger deal than it really is? So leave a comment below and let me know what you think. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you missed my previous video, I covered the uh, weld feature, the new weld feature that we got in 2020.2. So definitely check that one out. I'll have a link in the description. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a thumbs up if you appreciate my insight and the work I put into this video. And if you're still watching, I've got one more thing to show you. It's super official now. Master SketchUp. 100,000 subscribers. So this is awesome. I, <laughs> I've been working towards this for uh, 
uh, since 2012. And this was always a huge milestone that I was looking forward to. So I just wanna thank you. Thanks to all of my subscribers. And um, you know, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going up. And I'm not sure when the next, what the next milestone is, probably like 500,000 or something, but I don't know if we'll get there. But uh, anyways, I really appreciate all the support I've gotten over the years. And uh, all right, that's it. I will see you in the next video.